Hi, Ryle, it's lovely to see you. Good to see you too, Livia. Thank you so much for zooming in today and um, being part of my brave action little project that uh, I'm, I'm doing. Um, you know the story about all of this, so we won't explain. And when this goes out, everybody else will know what it's about too. So uh, thanks so much for giving up your time. I know we're all pretty screened out at this stage. I'm sick of these Zoom calls, but uh, I really appreciate it. So I'm going to hand over to you and you can tell your brave action story. Yeah, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking about this when you made contact with me about bravery and what, and what bravery is, you know, and, 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 and I actually looked it up in the dictionary, what bravery, bravery means in its, in its purest form. And, and then I thought, well, you know what, that can be interpreted in so many ways. Like what's, what's brave for me may not be brave for you. Uh, and I think, I think there's a, that's a really interesting uh, view of it is 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 that one woman or one man's bravery is not is not for the other but 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 yet there are definitely examples that can we all, we can all look at and see that that show that people show bravery and um, i've been lucky enough to to be involved in sport for uh, i won't even put a number on it for more years than <laughs> i that i want to admit um, and and most of that has been as a as a commentator as a journalist as a, as a head of sport but also in my in my personal life Having kids, I've been involved in sport uh, through their eyes over the years as well. And actually, one of the two little anecdotes or stories that I want to reference about bravery, uh, it goes back actually to my kids and it, and it goes back to my, my son who was playing under 10 football. Um, and, and I watched something one day, which was they were a group of boys that had, had grown up together, played under sevens, under eights, under nines and under tens. And this was the start of a new season. And along arrived this new player. And this new player showed a level of bravery for me that stayed with me, well, all this time, 10 years later. And, and the reason it was brave was because, because it was a she, it was a girl who arrived to play with the lads. And, and I remember her arriving. I remember her coming to the side of the pitch and we hadn't told the lads that we had some new players. And when they turned around and we introduced two new players and one of them was a girl, I could see that they didn't know what to do with it. And she really didn't know what to do with it either. But she steelied herself, you could see it. You could see that she was determined to get the very best out of what she felt she had, which was a talent. And she wanted to improve and, and it was felt and she felt and her parents felt at that time, there weren't enough girls teams around for her to play in. So the only way she was gonna be able to, to, to engage her talent and to, to improve herself was to play with the lads. And, and, and it was an incredibly brave thing to do in my, in my world. I watched her because she was tentative. She didn't know, she was the odd one out. She, the lads weren't particularly welcoming in the beginning. However, as time passed by to watch that relationship between her and them become them as a collective rather than her and them was was remarkable, but that day for her to look at what was across the white line and for her to step across that white line into that world, for me was an incredibly brave thing to do. And that young girl is now a young woman and she's captained her country underage and, and continues to play the game at the highest level. And for me, that day was the day that she showed the courage to get the best out of herself that she could possibly do because that was not an easy situation for her to be in. So that would be, be a, a kind of an anecdotal personal uh, experience with it. I think on a, on a professional basis, uh, probably the bravest thing I've ever seen uh, has, has, has been uh, the performance of the women's national rugby team back in 2013 um, when they won the Grand Slam and the particularly uh, uh, the actions of Claire Malloy on that day, who was playing uh, open side flanker. And the reason, uh, like we've all seen athletes give of themselves, whether it's in, in team or individual sport, you, you, you watch on television, um, cyclists come up the side of the Alps uh, in the Tour de France and, and literally pass out from the effort uh, when they get there. But, but this one for me was special because I actually saw it firsthand. I was there and saw a team, and in this case, an individual, literally empty themselves to the point where they had no more to give. And it was a staggering show of bravery. If I could just set the scene for you, it was Ireland's first real chance at winning a Grand Slam. 
it was an absolutely freezing cold day. It was two degrees maximum. The game went ahead despite the pitch being a quagmire. It was filthy, dirty day on a horrible pitch. And at the end of that game, as the entire team and squad celebrated, I saw Claire Malloy out of the side of my eye and she had gone to the brink of hypothermia where she was so empty that she couldn't even celebrate the success of the team. And she had to be taken away and treated as a result of it. And to see that level of commitment and in my world, absolute bravery was a thing that stays with me to this day and I think will stay with me forever. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, well, we've, we've had so many athletes, um, Ryle, on sharing their personal stories, but I think that, that those two examples, I mean, I love them because you're talking about two girls. And I mean, I think in the sporting <laughs> yes. world, two girls stepping up and really showing bravery. We, 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 we sometimes associate sport because it's been predominantly kind of, you know, led by the guys up to now that, you know, the girls even engaging in those kind of activities it is a really brave thing for them to do and I love as well Risa <laughs> the academic like me I looked it up in the dictionary for to see yeah. if I <laughs> right. and you're absolutely right in 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 my brave action project part of that has been researching all of the words and what it means to be brave and to be very action focused and you're right it can mean so many different things to so many different people but um I think there's a huge amount of learning and kind of inspiration out of the two examples that you've given there and I think anybody who hears this is going to be able to take little little nuggets of, of 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 inspiration from them which is really really what this is all about so thank you so so much for giving up your time today and telling us and sharing those two stories and um, you have this wealth of knowledge from your own sport <laughs> experience to be able to do that which is amazing um, and i really appreciate you uh you, you taking the time for to chat with me today and um, i look Do forward I... to seeing you soon in person uh, we'll catch up soon hopefully in our in our gym or in our clubs uh shortly so um i look forward to that and uh, just stay safe and well in the meantime okay love to all the fans thanks. too thanks a million Lydia